And this marked a historic day that turned into a historic night in Nashville that continues unfolding at this hour, all centering on that deadly school shooting one week ago today in Nashville. A lone gunman killed six people, including three nine year olds. And here is what you need to know tonight from our coverage. First, leading Republican lawmakers filed resolutions to expel three Democrats. Representative Gloria Johnson of Knoxville is among those three. That follows a move late this afternoon by the House Speaker to strip those lawmakers of any committee assignment. House Speaker Cameron Sexton publicly condemned the actions of those Democrats to break House rules, taking the House podium without recognition. The Speaker promising consequences. Representative Johnson says she takes responsibility for breaking that rule last week, but calls the move to expel her extreme. So, so if you want to expel members for caring about third grade kids, I guess you can go ahead and do that. Turmoil rolled into the evening session with a speaker ordering vocal protesters out of the gallery and Twitter video shown here showing the frustrations boiling over on the floor. A confrontation between Knox County Republican Justin Lafferty and Nashville Democrat Justin Jones. He recorded that moment on his phone. One of the largest protests in recent history centered on renewed calls for Nashville lawmakers to pass tighter restrictions on guns. It's a direct contrast to a string of bills so far this session supported by the Republican majority to loosen gun restrictions. Also today, surrounded by leading lawmakers, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee unveiling a new budget plan devoting $200 million in additional money to improving school security across the state. The plan must pass both the House and Senate. You can read more about what it means for private and public schools right now at WBIR.com.